You're listening to the Omnicast. I'm Tyler. I'm Dannon. And today we want to talk about one of the, uh, it's one of the easiest marketing plays that your small business um, can can take advantage of that you might be missing. And Dannon, what is that play? Uh, email signatures, branded emails. Absolutely. And I'm gonna actually going to go beyond even, even the signatures. I'm going to say your email address itself. If you are relying on an at gmail.com address or at Yahoo, which I've seen, I at Hotmail. Hotmail's the worst, still, man. At AOL. Yeah. So we, we actually just did a, an episode about branding on the back of your car. <laughs> and <laughs> how many of those have at AOL.com? Oh, man. Probably a fair amount of them. Um, <laughs> so a domain name is going to cost you about 10 bucks, right? And if it's your first year, you know, you can probably get it for seven bucks. Yeah. But the thing that drives me nuts about this is most of these companies, I actually see an actual domain name behind them already, and then they'll throw out an AOL address. Right. They just haven't set up their actual email through that domain name. Right. And so what happens is every time you're sending an email or anytime somebody's emailing you, you're actually reinforcing the Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or AOL brands and missing that opportunity to to promote your own brand. Um, so the best way that I've seen to be able to, to overcome this is by getting a, a Gmail, a G Suite, right? Yeah. It's $5 a month per user. You can get your email in there, uh, an email at your domain name. Um, you also get calendars. So, uh, and then let's go on to what you were saying. The next uh, easiest marketing play, once you've gotten that done, what is it? Is the email signature. Talk to me. Su super easy. There are so many template makers online. You can Google email signature. You can put whatever you want. You can put images. You can put the latest project you worked on, your name, your phone number, everyone else's phone number. You can kind of go nuts. I think most, uh, e most email programs, apps, mm -hmm. now support um, animation in signature lines. So you can actually do a GIF or a, a small video in it. Like then every time someone opens one of your emails, they see your brand. Exactly. And so I hear so, so much about brand touch points. Uh, almost everybody knows that people have to be touched by a brand, uh, in a kind way, uh, <laughs> multiple times before it actually starts making an impact. And so this is a really great place for you to, to leverage that. So if you are still using a Gmail address, God forbid an AOL address, oh, man. anything like that, um, and you're, you're using this for business, just go get this done. Again, $5 a month. If you're not making $5 a month just by making this change, then something else is wrong. Well, and it's honestly, it's, it's an institutional cost. Like this is how businesses do business now. And by not having it, you're actually sig signaling you're not a modern business. Absolutely. Oh, you know, we didn't even talk about those, those trust signals. Right. Like how serious is this business if they're still asking all of their right. employees to use Gmail addresses, free email addresses? You, you may not see a direct return. More than likely, you'll see indirect returns. But just, just in the signal that this gives your clients, this is like, this is base level stuff. This is table stakes if you want to be a business. Yep. Honestly. All right. So go out there. Get those email addresses. If you have questions, comments, send them our way at omniphonic.com, and we'll see you next time.